Happy Tuesday. So today I went ahead and got up really early and um, spent time with the Lord. Um, kind of had a heavy heart this morning. And so I just spent time in his presence. And then I decided to get on up and get dressed because I have a lot I want to do today. And um, a couple DIYs I want to get done in this video. I've got some fun, exciting little pieces I want to show you that I got this weekend. And um, I figured I would just take you along. Um, yesterday I'd started a vlog, but really nothing happened and it was just nothing going on. Um, my mom did come down and we went to the thrift store, which was a total bust. I really thought, you know, after the weekend they might have some more frames or, any, or things like that in, but this total bust, so didn't do anything. Um, and then this weekend, we didn't get a whole lot done on the fireplace. We got a few things done and then we ended up having to go to Lowe's and pick out a couple things that we wanted to use. And then James kind of had to sit down and kind of rethink some things. So I got a piece ordered for the fireplace. So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff with the fireplace, but not a lot of actual like work went into it. So it's coming along, y'all, y'all. I'm just so ready for it. I want to decorate it so bad. But I did get the stuff to start the project on my front porch that I wanted to do. So I'm going to start that Friday morning early. I'm going to be staining my front door. It is a fiberglass door, but you can gel stain it. So I've been doing some research on that but it takes like six to eight hours for it to dry. So we're gonna get up really early Friday morning and take it off the hinges and all that and put it in the garage. And um, I'm gonna start working on that Friday. Once that gets done, then I can kind of go toward decorating my porch. Did go look for some mums. Um, not a real good selection yet. I think it's still a little too warm for them. And I also wanna check out some nurseries because I'm wanting some flats of some little things of mom's and Lowe's did not have anything like that. So I'm kind of been looking for some nurseries around me to see if I can find that. I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm gonna look. So yeah, a lot going on. We went up and helped the kids on Saturday. And fun story about the washer. Let me fill y'all in on that. So the we thought the water pump went out on my washer um, earlier in the week. So we had ordered a part from Amazon it got here Friday, James put the part on, set it back up, or the water wouldn't come out. <laughs> so we did some research on that, and he thinks he might've hit a wire while he was replacing the pump, so he fixed that, and that worked. So the water started coming out. So we kind of run like a rinse cycle through it just to kind of see how it was working. Well, then water started pouring out of the wall. Yes, I know, I know. So, come to find out that the drain pipe where the water goes out of your washer and drains out, that pipe was clogged. So, now I'm thinking, was that the problem all along? And we thought it was the water pump. I don't know. So, we just kind of just thought about calling the plumber. Didn't know if it was something we could do. Did some research. And, obviously, this is a common thing. I don't know. Never had it happen to me before in all my years of having a washer. I've never had the drain pipe clog. Anyway, so it recommended you put some Drano, let that set, and then you rinse it, you'd run it, rinse it with hot water. Ugh, can't even talk. So we got some strong Drano, put it in there, let it sit for 30 minutes. I run some water through the coffee pot, just the water, got it really hot, and then let that go down. And it worked. So I said I will probably maybe be making that like um every two or three months a maintenance thing because that was aggravating and we probably spent money on a part we didn't even need to start with. But there you go. Who knew? Like I said, in all the years I've had a washing machine, I have never had that happen. So learn something new every day. So maybe you can take something from that, learn from that. So, I'm going to hush jabbering. I'm fixing to go out into the garage and get what I'm fixing to start working on because it's going to be a process, and I'm going to take you along with me. So, let's go out to the garage. Okay, sneak peek. So, y'all yeah, know I was looking for that 
thing to go over my Almoir, and I do not know what the name of it is, but I will put it here on the screen. Y'all let me know what I was talking about when I was talking about like a trellis kind of thing. Anyway, I had this topiary, this metal topiary. And so all I did was cut it in two parts. Then I put this little wood bead on top of this one. I cut out some scrap blocks. You are not gonna be able to see these blocks once it's up there on the armoire. I've already tested it out. Here's the some I had to put together. We, I just glued them together, drilled out a hole in the center. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them inside and I'm going to do the rust technique on these with using the cinnamon. They're already painted black. I will have to paint this part black on this one, but I'm going to paint that black and then I'm going to rust all of this. And I mean, worst case scenario, I can just kind of put like a little dab of glue in there when I go to set them up there. But I think once I get them set up on top of the Omar, they're going to be fine. But yeah, this did not cost me anything and I have everything on hand. Real quick, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of some samples we picked up this weekend at Lowe's for the fireplace and this is it. What do y'all think? It looks so good up next to the floor. He's building me a hearth on the fireplace and we're gonna cover the hearth with this rock. So I think it looks really good. It's gonna bring out the black of the cabinet and it kind of brings out, would kind of mimic some of our granite and match our floors. So sneak peek on that. Okay, I realize this location is not ideal, but if you've seen the state of my craft room back there, which I've got to tackle today, then you would understand. But anyway, so we're gonna make this work. So I just took a cookie sheet, I just put some foil over it, and that way, as I'm doing this, if anything falls, then it will catch it. We'll just ball it up and throw it away. So, okay, for the rust technique using the cinnamon, I like to use the clear glue. I get this from Dollar Tree, and then you're just gonna use some ground cinnamon. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to put, I'm just gonna pour, pour some of this glue into a container. And then I'm going to take some of my cinnamon and I'm just gonna kind of put it on my cookie sheet. And then I like to use um, foam brushes. So what you do, and I'm having to kind of lay this down right now. Um, I'll probably set it in the block as I kind of get to the bottom, but to kind of get to the top, what I'm gonna do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue. I like to put some glue on my brush like that. Then I dip it into my cinnamon like that. And then I just start putting it on the item. And what I love about this is it looks like legit rust. And it can be a little time consuming, but I suggest that you just put on a good movie um, and just have fun. But this is literally all I'm going to do to this. And I'll show you up close. And when it dries, it's gonna look just like rust. So what you can do is, um, like even if you've gotten some thicker places, you can go back over it with your cinnamon and And when this dries, you're gonna be amazed at how much like rust it looks. So I'm going. I'm not gonna bore you with all me doing all of this. I'm gonna because it, I'm gonna. It's gonna take me a little while. So I'm gonna get these two done, and when I get them done, then I'll show you what they look like after I get them done. All right, we're back in here in my bedroom because. This is really kind of the only place I have right now that I can kind of show you all my goodies. So some of these 
goodies were purchased and some were given to me when we went up there to help the kids. We went through another part of that house and I got a few items there. And so I'm just going to show you a little bit of all of it. But first, let me just say, in the world of YouTube, there are a lot of people that get hooked on certain things just because they heard about it on other channels. And um, I have been guilty of that in the past. But the one bandwagon that I could not get on was the Mrs. Myers because I would smell them and I just did not like them. They just did not smell good. Well, your girl is back on that bandwagon because I'm on that bandwagon for the first time because I've been seeing all over YouTube um, the Mrs. Myers fall scents, the apple cider, the acorn spice, and the mums. Well, we went to Lowe's Sunday, and they have Mrs. Myers at our Lowe's, and so I walked by and I was smelling it. Let me just tell you, these I purchased because oh, now I'm gonna smell like acorn spice because. These smell amazing. Oh my gosh. Now, I did not care for mom or mom's, whatever it is. Ugh, acorn spice. But uh, apple cider is my absolute favorite, followed up by acorn spice. So, we actually made two trips to Lowe's, and the first trip I bought the cleansers. And then on our second trip, I was like, man, I really should get the soaps. So, I ended up getting the apple cider soap and in the to put in my bathrooms and i put this one in our bathroom and in the guest bathroom i put the acorn spice y'all they are amazing love them so everything you're hearing about these scents how wonderful they are spot on love them and um i'm probably actually going to go back and buy me a couple more of the apple cider because they just smell so good. It is my absolute favorite. So, just thought I'd share that with y'all. If y'all been seeing it and you didn't really know, if, you know, I love it. And uh, I like to be able to smell things before I buy. So, um, definitely recommend. And I think they sell Mrs. Myers at Lowe's, at Target, different things. So, anyway, that's that. Okay. Um, let's get into the freebies, okay? Okay, so the first thing I got for free is this eagle. Now, when I got it, it was black, and I did buy um, Sunday at Lowe's the, uh, some gold spray paint, and I spray painted it gold. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put this in when that room gets cleared out in the man cave part of my craft room. You know, we got the American flag, the ranger uh, poster, all that kind of stuff. So I painted it gold. But if it doesn't look good gold, then I will paint it back black. But I just thought gold because, you know, when you see the flag poles, they have the gold eagle on top. So that was kind of what I was going for. But love it, love it, love it, love it. I even thought about, like, antiquing it a little bit to kind of really show the definition. But I don't know. I probably won't do that. But anyway, got that. I got this cute little mug that has the cotton on it. And I think it is so cute. It's an actual mug you could use, but I'm just going to use it to decorate with for the fall. I just think it is so cute. I actually kind of just set it under my coffee pot when it's not being used. Just kind of set it there. So, got that. I got this cute little, I don't even know what you call it. But I'm thinking on my bookcase, I'm going to set something under it. I don't know what, but I just... I've been seeing it up there, and I just, for whatever reason, could not get away from it. So, I just went ahead and picked it up. I mean, think about a cute little plant or a chicken or something underneath it. I just thought it was so cute. So, I got that. Then I got this. This cute, it's a flower pot. It was outside. It was nasty, filthy. It had the most rank water in it. But I brought it home and I cleaned it up. I had intended on like doing that paint technique like I did on my rooster. But once I cleaned it up and I saw all the natural like patina to it, I was like, no way. But it's got cute litter, litter, <laughs> cute little acorns and leaves. 
and I thought it's just perfect for fall and actually I'm going to show you what I do with this. Then I found this. How many of y'all know what this is? I think it's called a frog. Am I right? Y'all have to correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, you put this in a vase and then you put your flowers. It helps you arrange your flowers. So I have another one of these and I thought these would just be cute, like displayed on the bookcases, just kind of propped up against each other, you know? So pick that up. That's really old. Then I got this, this cute little ceramic basket. And although I love green, I don't particularly care for this shade of green. But I'm thinking about doing a little paint technique like I did on my rooster on this basket. And I think it will be amazing. And I'll be able to use it all year. And I just thought it was so cute. I love it. Okay. Speaking of paint techniques, I'm going to show you these chickens I have. Now, these are the chickens I, I bought from Hobby Lobby. And um, I was... I actually had, had them on Marketplace for probably a couple weeks and nobody like was interested in them. So I took them off of Marketplace and I said, all right, I already don't want them. So what's the worst I could do if I mess them up, you know? So I think what threw me off was the colors on them. So I just did the paint technique to them. Look at this. And it totally transformed these cute little chickens and Hobby Lobby has them. I mean, you can see they're $13.99, and I, of course, got them 50% off. But I just did my paint technique on them, and now I love them, and I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to use them on my bookcases. And my idea that I have in mind is, of course, I'll probably put them in some kind of, like, greenery something and have one of them taller than the other and just kind of make, like, a little vignette with them. But look at that. Isn't that cute? Just totally transformed them. I'll put a picture of what they look like before, just in case you're not familiar with them. And this is what they look like now. Okay, the next two items I purchased from Amazon and love them. Okay, the first one is this wreath. Now, I was looking for a new wreath for my front door and I found these, the two wreaths I'm gonna show you. This one was just a little bit too small for my front door, but I did find a place to use it. But it's beautiful. Like, you don't even have to use it as a wreath. Like, you could literally use it. Let me show you. You could put something in the middle like this. This. I mean, you could do tons of things with it. But I just love this wreath. Now, if you like them, these wreaths, I did link them in my Amazon storefront. And that is always in the description box below. So, um... Yeah, you can check those out if, if you're interested in them. But I just thought they were just so pretty. So that's that one. And I'll show you where I put it. And this one is the one I'm going to put on my front door. And when I get my door done, it's going to be amazing. Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Look at all the detail in it. It's got little pumpkins and flowers. I just love it. So this is the perfect size for my front door and it was time that I retire my front door wreath because it had seen better days. I'd made it over and it just, it was time. And I had looked at Walmart and um, they didn't really have what I wanted. Um, Hobby Lobby, their wreaths are just crazy expensive. And so next thing I know, I get on Amazon, which I had some points on Amazon. so. Basically, I didn't pay for these at all. They were, I got them with my points, but love them. So now I'm going to go put all this up and I'm going to show you where I use the wreath and I'm going to show you what I do with this. So let me get it put back in place and I'll show you. Okay, so this is where I put the little flower pot and I think it is perfect. I love it right here on my coffee table. I just love it. And the wreath, I put it right here, and I just love the way that just kind of brightens up this area, makes it look like fall. Before, I just had like a green wreath up there, but I like that so much better. What do you think? So now I'm going to show y'all a few little DIYs I've done using the wallpaper books that I purchased and I showed y'all last week. So let me show you what I did. 
So on this wall, I'm starting a gallery wall. Now I purchased this little print a few weeks ago at a thrift store and I wanted to put it on this wall, but of course this wall is too big for such a tiny print. So I'm gonna make this a gallery wall. So this is the start of my gallery wall. And then I had this old frame and this is one of those fabric swatches in the wallpaper book. And I just kind of put that in there. Now this is coming off. It looks like it's coming off a little more red, but it's actually a coral. And I just Mod Podged it to the cardboard back of this frame and just put it up there. And that's what I've done with that. And I love it. I've got so many ideas for those little fabric swatches. Even if I find some more old frames, I have tons of other fabric swatches in those books that I could use if I can't find the right picture to put in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's one thing. But let me show you what I did in the laundry room with a piece of the wallpaper scrap. In the laundry room. I don't know if y'all remember what this looks like, but it, I had originally done this. This is a little Dollar Tree sign and I had originally done it and it had like a uh, little like denim scrapbook paper back there. Well, I took that off and I replaced it with this like, it's like a blue and white ticking kind of thing. I just Mod Podged it to the back and let it dry, glued my little laundry sign on it. And I think it looks so much better and goes so much better in this room. And that was with that wallpaper book, just a piece of the wallpaper. What do you think? You like it? I love it. Also, I wanted to show y'all, y'all see that little bucket up there? That was an old DIY I did where I took a broken spoon rest and kind of put it into this little bucket with the greenery. It's a little chicken, I don't know if y'all can tell. Anyway, I had those Dollar Tree flowers just laying on my bar and I was like, what can I do with them? And so I just stuck them in that little bucket and I think that gives it just the right amount of color up there. It was kind of missing something in that spot but I really like that. I think it just adds to it, especially with the orange pumpkin sitting there. I just love it. And all that was, was just Dollar Tree flowers. That little bucket actually came from Hobby Lobby and that little spoon rest was one that I had that was broken. I'll link that video in the description box below if you're interested in seeing it. But yeah. It is a bad muggy day. Lester and I just, I just went to the vet to try to pick up his flea and tick medication and they were closed. I don't know why. I don't know if they're closed for lunch, but I don't think they do. But anyway, I'll just go back tomorrow. Um, but it got him out for a ride, but now he's out there. He must have really had to go because it's thundering and sprinkling, but it's just been a nasty, nasty day. But let me see if our little, oh yeah, okay. We're fixing to go. I'm gonna go uh, put these in, these that we just did. I'm gonna go put them in their place up there on the armoire and see what it looks like. They're dry, so I'm excited to see what they look like up there. So let me get that done and I'll pull out the camera and show you what it looks like. Okay, what do you think? I love it. I think that works out perfect. And I put some more greenery in there that I had. Um, this is just, I don't know if I like this right here in the corner. I may take that down. Let me see. Yeah, I like it better without that. But that's what it looks like. And you can't see the blocks. I knew you wouldn't be able to. I do have to touch up the Omar, but what do y'all think? You like it? Okay, y'all gonna have to give me your opinion on this, but I, I took that little terrarium and set this pumpkin in it. I need to fix the lid, it's kind of catty wall. And I put it in the bathroom and I think it's so cute. What do y'all think? Do y'all like it in here? I think it's cute. I do need to fix the lid, so let me fix that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. I love it. I really, really love it. What do y'all think? I'm gonna leave it. I think it's cute. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave that to think it's cute. All right, I've said that twice. Now y'all know I love my Bath and Body Work candles, but this spiced apple candle from Walmart, 
Oh my goodness. And it's like $5, $5 and some change. And it smells amazing. And you can peel this label off and nobody would ever know this was not a Bath and Body Work candle. I love it. Also, they have one called Pumpkin Waffles. And it smells really good too. But this one's my favorite. And this is actually the kind of candle I was burning that I spilled all the wax in my kitchen. Yeah, it was this candle. But, I mean, not this one, but one like it. But I'm going to peel this label off and set it in here. And it just, I love it. I highly, highly, highly recommend it if you don't want to spend the money on Bath & Body Work candles. But you want the quality and the, the scent payoff that those candles have. This is it. So, for $5, you can't beat it at Walmart. So, you just tells you to peel here. And you just peel this little label. I clipped all of my fingernails off last night. So, I don't have any fingernails. There we go. And it just peels just that easy. And the notes on this are the fragrant blends apples with cinnamon, almond, pumpkin, and molasses for a crisp and refreshing experience. Vanilla spice woods and musk provide richness. So good. Love it. All right, that's going to do it for me today. I really hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I always enjoy the time that we spend together, and I hope you always know how welcome you are here. And until next time, bye, y'all.